Welcome back, welcome back to uh, Full Circle with Mikali. Yani, today is the day, it's Wednesday. I got you, I got you. We are learning. It doesn't matter what aspect of your life you feel like you are, um, you know, sort of like deprived. We cover it all. Talking about covering it all and, uh, you know, depriving some parts of your body, some things. I told you this holiday, Mulienda Kila Mahali, Mombasa. You were sunbathing in the sun. If you were in Ushagoka Makutu Makuweni, then you know the sun there was pretty hot. Doing all the things that you were doing out there and now you're back. You need to look flawless. You need to look good. You need to feel like your normal self. But your skin is not letting you do that. And Sony is here to just talk to us about all of that. Sony Karibu Sana Kuni Studio. Uh, thank you so much, Mikali. Your skin looks really good. <laughs> thank you. And you too. <laughs> it looks like you're walking the talk. <laughs> Thank yeah. you, thank you. So, so, kindly introduce yourself to the people and Sony Touch as well and what it does. All right. My name is Sony Kamau uh, from Sony Touch Wellness Center. I'm mm -hmm. a skincare specialist and not a dermatologist. Ah, uh, skin care, skin care specialist. Yes. That's so, different from a dermatologist. Yes, it is. A dermatologist uh, is a medical doctor. A skincare okay. specialist, I address uh, skin issues targeting cosmetic issues. Okay. So I'm all about cosmetic. Cosmetic. Yes. And that is what we're talking about today. Just taking yes. care of your skin. Mm -hmm. Because the dermatologist will go deep. Dermatologist will go deep. They'll give you uh, medicines. For mm. me, I, I, it's all about cosmetics. All about cosmetics. Yes. And like I said, this season, to look at Nafanya, all kinds of things, we traveled. Yeah. Some to cold places mm -hmm. than where they usually are. Some mm -hmm. to very hot places. Mm -hmm. And we got sunburns. We got moisture out of our skin. We got, you know, cracked lips and all of that. But now we are back. <laughs> now we are back. Yeah, we need to look good. Yes. But we don't know sure. what to do or where to begin. Where to begin? Uh, where to begin? Uh, where to begin is by understanding your skin type. Okay. Yes. I'm I'm surprised that until today there are still people who don't know about their skin type, and they mistake that with skin condition. Okay. Wait. Just for anybody, and the, like you said rightfully, there are people who do not know yes. or understand. What are the different types that are there for the skin? We have different uh, five different skin types. Okay. We have an uh, oily skin, uh, normal skin sensitive skin combination and dry right so for a normal skin type is a skin type that is prone to acne okay and it's a skin type that it's really oily mm. like uh, the sebaceous glands of someone who has oily skin it produces a lot of sebum okay uh, f normal skin type these are flawless people uh, they don't have any blemishes Normal skin type. Normal skin type. For mm -hmm. sensitive skin, these are people who react pretty fast to products. Okay. Yeah, they get rashes, uh, skin tends to turn reddish. Mm -hmm. Yes, and uh, for dry skin people, these are people that skin gets really dry, so scaly. uncomfortable, scaly, ashy, mm -hmm. and uh, combination, it's around the T-zone. This area is the T-zone. Okay. Yeah, and uh, this other part is just normal so what yes. so you have a different skin type over here mm -hmm. like you just find there are people who just sweat around here so that's a combi i think that's the one that i have that's a combination skin and type. it's like is it lighter around that zone lighter than the, the rest of your skin no now that is when you don't use um <laughs> <laughs> it's a problem already <laughs> When you don't use what? <laughs> sunscreen. Oh. Yes, when you don't use sunscreen. <laughs> oh and if you goodness. do, unapitishia. Unapitishia, too. Yes. You don't, like, sink it deep into yes, the skin. Yes, yes. Okay. Yeah. But what are some of the common um, skin problems that we have, especially after festivities or being in the sun for a very long time and stuff like that? Okay, that will call it summer conditions. Uh, yeah. And... Uh, it, all the five skin types that I've mentioned, all of them can be sensitized, you know, due to too much heat, okay. depending with where you went, whether it's Mombasa, whether it's uh, up country. Like yesterday, for instance, I had someone in the evening who was telling me that, Sonny, my skin is burning. It's burning. I was in Mary. It's very, very hot. My skin is burning. Oh, wow. And uh, there are people who will get sunburn and there are people who will just feel like the skin is burning. 
Okay. Okay. So that means uh, what you need to do, you need to take it slow. What do you mean take slow? You need to go with products which won't irritate that condition. Okay. Yeah. Okay. okay. Because already the skin is inflamed from inside. So you don't want to make things worse by over scrubbing and doing all that. So in that case, what do I do then? What do I use? Is it like, um, I don't know. Do I now cleanse more, scrub less? I like to say this is where uh, we are supposed to have temporary products for such conditions, right? Okay. Yeah, so if... Um, let, let me take it back a little bit. Okay. All the skin types that we have, each skin type react different. Yes. So there's someone who went to Mombasa with a normal skin and there's someone who went to Mombasa with a sensitive skin. Mm -hmm. So even though they both uh, got sunburn, the reaction is not the same. Okay. So the key thing here is to understand your skin. How is it reacting? How okay. does it feel? Mm -hmm. All right. So because you might have a sensitive skin or maybe you might have even a normal skin, yeah. but you've been using harsh ingredients. Okay. So already the skin, even before you go to Mombasa, it's already sensitized. Yes. Which means if you use... Um, scrubs you become too aggressive with the skin you'll end up damaging your skin even mm. the more I, I just put it out there so for example if you're bleaching mm. I, I see yeah. that <laughs> you're trying to be very <laughs> modest so neat. so say for example mm. you're bleaching and you're in nairobi the environment the weather is okay mm -hmm. then with the same bleach so your skin is very it's already sensitive sensitive light yes. clean, and all of that and then you go to the coast. Yes. It is that hot. Yes. And I go to the coast with just my skin. Yes. You will be more affected by the sun than I will be. Exactly. So it is different skin types, different reactions to even the same conditions. Exactly because I, your skin has a barrier. Yes. The sensitized skin, already the barrier is not there. Mm. You get. So when the sun is heating, in as much as we are dark people, we have melanin popping and all that. Eh? When the sun hits, it penetrates deeper. So the damage is more for someone who has a sensitized skin type, mm -hmm. sensitized condition, than you with a normal skin. Okay. Yeah. When I go down to Mobada, mm -hmm. I come back really dark, mm -hmm. extremely dark. Like even my foundation will go a notch mm -hmm. darker. And I get serious sunburns and tan lines that go away in months, like two, three, four, five months later you'll still see the tan lines in that case for uh, what do i need to use to just bring back my oh my what uh, procedures should i take to just bring back my skin or nourish it back take care of the sunburns and stuff like that so when you go to mombasa you're outdoors yes right uh, it's not like in Momba in nairobi where you're mostly indoors, indoors. so which mo means the skin is uh, exposed to uh, many elements mm. right so you are supposed to have your sunscreen on on and i remember the last time i was here i said there are two types of sunscreens okay there's a chemical sunscreen and there's a physical sunscreen what does that even mean i think i wasn't <laughs> here was it me <laughs> no, it was Joyce. <laughs> <laughs> okay, please educate me. Yeah, so there are two types of sunscreens. So you need to understand um, your skin type and what sunscreen you're carrying. For a physical sunscreen, it's a sunscreen which uh, sits on your skin. It actually means physical. It sits on your skin. Okay. And there's a sunscreen that has uh, natural ingredients. Mm -hmm. All right? A chemical sunscreen has chemical ingredients. Okay. And a physical sunscreen is a sunscreen that you apply and leave. Okay. Yeah. For a chemical sunscreen, you have to apply and wait for like 15 minutes for it to penetrate. Because if you apply and leave, it won't be effective. Oh, wow. Yes. And I'm so hearing that today at 32 years old. Wow. <laughs> I'm doing great. You're doing great. <laughs> okay, okay. Okay. Yes. So it's, it's, it's uh, really key to understand your skin type. Yes. And the products that you're supposed to use. And this the is prevention. Just this, yes. And this is really key because you need to prevent your skin well. All right? What can work for me, it might not work for you. That's Even true. though to be baniapa to in the Mombasa Pamoja. Yeah. You understand? I feel like you just come back looking like this. <laughs> <laughs> As an individual, yeah. you need to understand your skin. 
eat well and by this i mean uh look f uh, look for food which are rich in um in water okay snack more on cucumbers watermelon watermelons mm. you know hydrate from inside mm. coming out okay. all right and when you go to mombasa don't go with uh creams okay go with lotion something light mm. because you don't want to clog your pores okay Okay? okay, and this I'm speaking of like the entire the whole, body. The whole body, I mean, skin yes, is but don't apply lotion on your skin, on your face, brother. Oh. That is for moisturizers. <laughs> yes, so uh, as in skincare goes with seasons, let me put it that way. Okay. When you go to Mombasa, get those products that you know now, these are for summer. All right, focus more on hydrating your skin inside out. Although there are people who hydrate, 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 and then forget to nourish their skin. Okay. Yeah. So first understand, understand your skin type, uh, sunscreen mm -hmm. and sunscreen and sunscreen. Never forget to apply sunscreen. And like that we're talking about the prevention, this is all before you damage your skin. Yes. Well, then there'll be this random person who's just been the word. <laughs> <laughs> and now they're back mm -hmm. like i asked for the when how do you then reverse for the people who are now back in the country uh, or back in in town how how do you then reverse the situation with your skin is there a particular skincare routine? like wash your face a couple of times to, uh, during the day uh, how what do i do with the sunburns what do you do with the sunburns i uh, this is where I always say visit a skincare specialist. Ah, okay. Always make sure you have a skincare specialist on the ground. Skincare is a journey. This is like going to the park. You know, you need someone to guide you. Mm -hmm. You understand? So always ha have someone on the ground that you can always call to help you on or advise you on the correct products that you're supposed to use, right? Yeah. So when you come back, when you come back from Mombasa, like right now, yeah? Go slow on your skin by not using hot water. Stay not using hot water? Yes. Okay. Depending with your skin, whatever skin type that you have, do not use hot water mm -hmm. because you worsen the condition. Okay. All right. Um, snack more, as I said, on cucumbers. To just feed your body from within. Yes. There's been a conversation about concert on a sunburn. Paka tu, Vaseline, Aremis. Paka tu ku, you know, like to just... Uh, make sure that the, it peels off nicely. Is that a good thing? Are we are we lying to each other out here? Uh, as I said, uh, understand first your skin. Okay. Once mm. you understand your skin, you'll be able now to know which steps am I going to take. By this, I mean you want to get rid of suns of sunburns. Sunburns, right? yes. Yes. Visit a skincare specialist or call them. Let them advise you on what you are supposed to use. Mm -hmm. Okay. Do not scrub your face. Stay away from uh, scrubs that has granules. Mm. All right. Those are the so, ones that people, for the longest time, they felt like the things that are working. Unaskia hiyo roughage. Yeah. Uchkwata unga. Yeah, nini. Unaskari. You know what I mean? <laughs> yes. But you're saying stay away from all of that. Stay away from all of that uh, uh, because it has granules and it will worsen the condition. Oh, okay. But first, understand, is, is my skin... Is my skin type uh, normal or dry or sensitized? All mm -hmm. right. Then you can use an exfoliator that uh, maybe it's like gel-like. Okay. All right. And scrub it off. But let your skincare specialist do this for you. Mm. If you're at home and you really feel like my skin is sensitive to like anything that you're using, do not overdo it. Listen to your skin. How is it reacting? Mm. Even when you use water, how is it reacting? If yeah. you're still reacting from warm water, leave it. Go at least with cold water for some time. Give yourself, give your skin some time to renew itself. Mm. Now this is where I say, um, we visit a skincare specialist every month. We do our facials every month. Yeah. And reason being, it takes 19 days for uh, cells to renew themselves. Okay. All right. In these 19 days, it takes 10 days for these cells to migrate. Oh. And in total, those are 29, 29 days. So which means a whole month. Oh, wow. So right now, if you go ahead and start scraping off your skin, you know, you're overdoing it. Don't do it. Don't do it. Visit a skincare specialist. That's why we have different types of facials. You understand? So yes. for this summer edition, we have a facial for that. Okay. For... Um, 
if you came from Mombasa and you have those sunburns, we can, and when you come, you do normal uh, facial or basic facial, this time I won't advise you to use that. Mm. I'll be able to advise you, let's use this uh, different facial because that is what your skin needs. Needs at that point. At that point. And so it's not knowledge that we all have. So that's why we need a specialist. Yes. So at home, if if you really feel like my lipa school fees son and you know. I this month. I this month. This month rather. Don't don't scrub your face. Don't scrub. At least use gel. Okay. Aloe vera gel. All okay. right. Give it time. Give it time. This month. Let the skin do its thing from in there. Mm. You understand? Because Already your skin working. is peeling. Yeah. Na kuna vuta hivi. Because it's, it's annoying. And that happened because you did not prevent your yes, skin no. well. No, you so didn't. you have to deal with the consequences. Of the, of the skin peeling. <laughs> also, what is the one or couple of mistakes, like huge mistakes or misconceptions that are there about, you know, skincare routines? Because everybody, we've seen how many channels are there. People are talking about Imagine. their routines. There are so many. And instead of seeing someone like you, we're just like, oh, what is Kali Jenna doing? Oh my God. So I'm going to be doing exactly that. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So, what are some of the misconceptions that are out there about skincare routines? About skincare routines, I do this, do that. Mm. All right. So, when you come to uh, a skincare specialist, we advise you on what you're supposed to use. Okay. okay, so you'll go there, uh, I've already advised you on what you're supposed to use, but you'll do whatever Kylie is doing. <laughs> okay, yeah. and that is not what your skin needs. First of all, we are different, like, we <laughs> are totally different, different people, yeah, out here, yeah. All right, even though, even if it's your friend, what I advise you is not what your friend is supposed to use, mm. yes. So, there's a lot that goes. It's personal. I think it's, that's the yeah. You should. It's not a mob mentality. It's not for everybody. It's just for you, and you need help for you. Your skin is yours. You're not sharing it. No, you're not. So it's yours. You need to take care of it personally. Yes. How can people get in touch with you? This is the season. Or probably February. You guys will be checking in after we've listened to you and just let our skin do its thing. Uh, I'm on social media as uh, Facebook Sony Touch. Uh, on Instagram is Sony underscore Touch underscore Wellness underscore Center, and it's Sonia S O W N I E, not uh -huh. the TV one S O N Y. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. <laughs> on YouTube is Sony Touch TV. Sony Touch TV. Yes. So what what happens that you give tips every other time on these social media uh, platforms? Yes. Or what can people look out for? Yeah, we give tips, we post our work uh, okay. there, like before and after, and mm. they can as well call me on 0793-649-716. Say that again? 0793-649-716. Thank you so much for coming. Through. You're most welcome. Ah, this has been a great show, guys. Notes, 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 learning, 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 getting schooled. Right here on Full Circle with Mikali, we started with education and Corona. We talked about your financial goals. We still have a Denis. I have, I know, I owe you guys to finish the conversation with Susan. We'll be following that up. And of course, Benjamin Zulu with compatibility and chemistry and your skin. Tomorrow is another beautiful day. We have an amazing show lineup for you. So be sure to join us tomorrow for all of that. Social media, Switch TV, KE, Instagram, Switch TV, Kenya, on Facebook, SMS line, triple one triple four triple one thank you for tuning in let us meet again tomorrow and do this all over again but right now though have an amazing blessed beautiful day adios